paper tickets got lost. The printer stopped working. There's a paper jam. Or, oh wait, even better. The internet is down. I am sure you recognize a couple of these situations. Kitchen printers? You got to love them. How would you feel if we could save you from this printer hell and present you fresh KDS? The display that lets your kitchen or bar staff do what they can do best, preparing delicious creations. Fresh KDS is a tablet-based kitchen display system built by restaurant operators and used by over 3,500 venues. It connects with Lightspeed K-Series POS seamlessly, showing your on-site and online orders instantly. Improving customer satisfaction and the communication and collaboration between your different teams. Fresh KDS helps to save time and offers you insights to understand course-by-course course and item-by-item item metrics. Are you ready to go for paperless, wireless and affordable? My name is Nick and I'm here to introduce our integration between Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series and the kitchen display solution Fresh KDS. First, the more technical side. Fresh KDS is an application that runs on iOS and Android devices and, more specifically, tablets. Why? Because the application is developed to give you a full and clear overview of your production tickets. A phone or computer would simply not be sufficient. If you're concerned about greasy screens, then it's good to know that Fresh KDS supports a bump bar. And should you require any label or ticket printing, the app supports specific Zebra, Bixolon and Epson printers. It all starts with downloading the application. When you log in the very first time, after selecting Lightspeed in the settings, a handy list with instructions will appear to help you with the onboarding. Once done, it is time to enter the order on the POS, which then appears directly on the Fresh KDS screen. You have complete control over which items get sent to the single screen or multiple KDS. You have different ways of displaying orders, either in tiled view, to use all screen space and show as many orders as possible. Classic view shows orders of all sizes from left to right in one single row and split view shows orders organized by type from left to right in two separate horizontal rows. In this case, I chose the tiled view and I sent some orders through from the POS, which are shown chronologically. They start green and turn from yellow to red as time increases. You can set these time frames as well as the color codes in the settings of the application. What kind of details can we see? In the header, the order number, table number, or like here, the customer name, which is referring to a customer tab. Once the order appears on the display, the preparation timer starts, which is visible next to the time the order appeared on screen and which is tied into the analytics. With the X you can clear the ticket from the screen or you can tap anywhere in the header which has the same outcome. You can see direct orders, or in other words, for here, as well as the delivery and pickup orders. If a pickup or delivery time is set, it will be displayed in the order itself. Within the order, the quantity and item name are displayed. In this case, individual items, but it may be items with modifiers or even orders with different courses. It is worth mentioning here that voids, modifications and table transfers are also sent to the KDS. The three dots are referring to the Actions menu, where we can move the order to the front or back of the queue, move it up or down or put it on hold. This comes in handy when the customer, in our example, forgot his wallet in the car or another example could be that someone asked to delay the next course for a little while. You can either choose from preset times, a custom time or a custom time and date. The order will then disappear from the screen and move into the hold menu. When we click on it, we can see the order and the time until it's held. When we tap Release, it will make its way back to the queue. We can click on the header to bump the ticket. If that happened accidentally, we can recall the order via the button on the left. You can set a certain time for how long you can recall orders. Once done, you can see the little icon indicating it's a recalled order. You can clear the entire order or do it line by line. 
This can be undone if necessary. Until now, that sounds simple, but there is more. Fresh KDS has some other and more advanced features offering a variety of solutions. You can work with one or more screens. In case of multiple screens, they could show the same orders and then synchronize when an order or individual items are bumped on one of the screens, or send an order automatically from one screen to another once the order has been cleared on the first screen. You can print a label in example for pickup and send a text message to that customer when the order is ready. In the settings, you can define when exactly the text message would be sent. Talking about settings, let's have a look. You can change general settings like the KDS name, select the screen options regarding tiled, classic or split view, select the order types you would like to display on this screen, but also select the sound for when a new order is received and decide which order information is displayed and how it is displayed. If you have more than one KDS screen, you can choose here how they communicate amongst each other. Finally, in the order tracker settings, you can connect your KDS with a fresh KDS order tracker, which offers a customer-facing display showing the status of the orders like in preparation and ready. This was our introduction to Fresh KDS, a comprehensive solution that works in tandem with Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series. The Fresh KDS team is happy to assist you with the setup and onboarding. If you are interested to learn more, visit our help center, video library or get in touch with us via the link under this video. We are happy to assist you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!